In this video, I want to put a custom border around the words that says, thank you. It couldn't have been a successful journey without you. And I want to put in a thick and thin rule. And I want to have a white space between the graphics and the types. In other words, I'll have a thick, thin rule going around the words, encapsulating the words, but I'll have a thin white gap so that the border doesn't quite touch the edge of the frame. So we know that um, InDesign has a thick, thin option. So I'll come over here. Here's the thick, thin option. Okay, when I click on it, you'll see thick, thin, which means it'll be thick on the outside and thin on the inside. And let's say I give it a value of, say, four points. All right. So I'll say I'll choose that option and I will stroke it on the inside. So as you can see, we have the thick thin option here, but it touches the end of the edge of the frame. And that's not what I want. I want to have thick thin and I want to have a gap between the graphic and the, and the um, frame itself. So let's see how we can handle that without changing the size of the, of the frame itself. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the stroke option. We're going to click on the little grid in the upper right hand corner, go down to stroke styles. And as you can see, you have a few options here, but we have something that says new. Let's tap on that. So now we want a new, we want to do a new um, uh, striped thick thin option, but we want to have a white space. So as you see, it says type. We want a stripe. So here, and as you can see, there's a little preview at the bottom. It'll show you what the thing is going to look like when you complete it. So I know on the inside, which will be the bottom, I want to have a thin rule. Okay. And then I want to have a thicker rule on the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'll pull this down, make it a little thicker. All right. So I have a thick thin, but as you notice, there's a white gap right here. All right, so I'll just exaggerate that a little bit more. Maybe make that a little thinner. Got the gap right there. And I'm going to call it Custom Stripe. Okay, and I'll say, okay. So now, as you can see, I have Custom Stripe listed right here. I'll say, okay. And now what, you, what you'll see is, when I come down here to Type, I tap on that. You have your typical thick thin, but at the very bottom, you see something that says custom stripe. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to give that maybe a value of five, and let's see what happens. I'll say five. Okay. Give me the custom stripe. All right. And then, oh, let me <laughs> select it. Say five. Custom stripe. Okay. And there you have it. So now I have the exact effect that I want without changing the size of the frame. And I have the thick, the thin, and the little gap going all the way around it. So that's how you can create a custom border in InDesign. Hopefully that helps.